For sure what it is, is Marcus Hamilton. She and said she has some questions for us. Oh. No, no, you want to introduce oh. yourself. Go ahead. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Let me start all over. Hold on. All right, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. For sure what it is, Marcus Hamilton and this bitch. Class of 09, D.E. Hollaback. Uh, Peoria Stand Up. Hello. I'm here. Peoria Stand Up. Uh, Chicago. Shout out to the West Side all day. That's, that's all I need to be said. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's it? Okay. What is education? What is education? It can be defined in many ways. I'm gonna let my man Marcus handle the first half of it. Let me see the watch you got. Oh, that's me. I just bought this one. Just a little something. How much? It was on sale. Uh, I got it for the. You going out tonight? Yeah. Well, Where you going? Yeah. Mary. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. I'm gonna follow you up with the education tip. Education, what it is? Basically, higher learning. It's Putting st feeding your brain for higher intellect. I mean, he summed it up, but the second half, you know, education can be defined in so many ways. You know, like he said, it's feeding your brain for higher intellect. You know, it could be for personal gain or for you no know, monetary gain. So it depends on how you take it. Okay. I take monetary. Yeah, I'm on the monetary. <laughs> monetary. Yeah. Good. Uh, what is religion? Religion, Christian. Christianity. Christian. What does it mean to be religious? To be religion is to follow a belief. Practice Morals. a belief. Yeah, that too. Morals. My man Tim over here. Peoria, stand up. Saint Louis. Why do Why do we need a religion? What What like What What does it give people? That's your own personal. That's your own yeah. personal discretion. Some people say religion is a way for humans to cope with dying. Some people say. That's smart. I could have sworn I thought he was just like. I don't mean he okay. Uh, Michelle. People look towards religion for faith. Yeah, for a belief or a way. For hope, for just positive things. Like what? Like some people look um, to the church as an outreach. Like a lot of people become involved in the ministries. You want to youth programs, children programs. I don't even feel much inspired right now. Outreach for what? For, for the community. Mm. You don't think that the religious leaders are trying to gain something from believers? Some are. Some are. Yeah, some are. Got like, like, like what? Some people just want to hold a position. Yeah. Like, some I could, people want I to be in charge. I won't say no names, but you know, more solely, not just because they on TV, but it's something yeah. that's on TV, you know. They just want attention, you know what I'm saying? They just ain't doing it right to be a reverend. Like, you know I, would give, I would give a, <laughs> uh, like an example, like, like uh, somebody, you know, I ain't say right. no names. He got, he got, you know, a TV show, you know, reverend comes right. on on Sunday. He got a $10,000 watch. He got a $10,000 watch on. But does it give back to the community? I know you're yeah. just talking about the man, Joe. Actually, I heard, I heard yeah. shit about him. Though. Yeah, I heard something. You gave about the name shit. away. But, yeah, edit, edit that out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, people like Reverend Wright is okay. doing a lot of stuff for personal gain. I, like, if you yeah. ever watch Joel Osteen, like, he got a huge uh, huge church in uh, Texas. I forgot where in Texas, but he, he's not real flashy about it, you know? Like, yeah. And Reverend Wright, I think, needs to uh, get out of TV because he's using this, he's using the destruction of Obama's campaign for his personal gain and attention, and he's focusing all of America and politics towards something else that's totally irrelevant right now. Reverend Wright, get off TV. What, what is irrelevant? What's what? What's irrelevant? What's irrelevant? Everything that he said from three like, weeks ago on. Comment, you, know, like, it was important. you see that double, you see that NAACP, NAACP speech? Religion we and talk. politics shouldn't and be And Northwestern you know, University together. revoked a master's because degree because he, we, he we in America, we in America is supposed to be somewhat of a melting pot. So, I mean, everybody got their own religion. So, therefore, a politics should be separate and religion should be separate. So, but if you are politic and you believe in this, you should leave that at home. But still practicing it. So, you know, where you're doing the right thing for your religion. So, what do you think about racism in America? Racism in America. Yeah, yeah. How do Prevalent. You think, it's still how, how, here. No. How do you think it has, like, like it's still, so, so, like, you know. Thumbing it down. Like, how, how has it changed, or how is it changing? How do you see it right now from, say, 50 years ago, or in the future? I don't it's, know. As I see it, it's not as, it's not, it's more, like, discreet on the down low, like, like, 
it would take you like a minute to catch on to it. You know what I mean? Like, like say like for an example, if we was in like a Walmart or something. What's up, man? But like if we was in a Walmart or something, you know, like the cash register acts snotty towards one race and not the other, and then like. You, at first, you would be like, oh, she's just having a bad attitude until you, you like, see it. Like, well, she always snotty to me, but I seen that she wasn't snotty to a different race. So it's more discreet. You know what I mean? Like, back then, it was just like, no, nah, you, you can't even come here. Don't even come here. You, you can't. You know what I mean? So, but it's not, as, it's not as bad as it used to be because it's been placed on the – it used to be on the forefront, but now it's more towards the background. And uh, – uh, racial extremists on both sides, both black and white, and other areas, minorities. I believe, as of course, as my major, as uh, as as the people from before, uh, race, racist people from before, the people who lived through the 60s, because you know, uh, people think that that racism is over when segregation laws didn't even come into effect until 1968, and so as those people that were inside those times, as those people die off, I think it become better. Because a lot of people who are born today don't even see the difference between black and white. But the people, their parents and their grandparents were, they lived through it, you know what I mean? But as those people die off and those teachings begin to, you know, back up, I think that uh, it'd be a better world. So 20 years from now, racism is still brought up in the home. Yeah? Like, yeah, like, if you, like, okay, like, from back then it was real, real prevalent, but now, as time go on, they have to get more indiscreet. Why y'all leaving me? Oh. All right. It are, just got, are you going then? Yeah. I mean, I mean, do you want to finish your thoughts? What oh, you were okay. saying? So I'm saying, like, if uh, it's just like any other thing. If you got, if you was talked to, uh, if you was talked to, um, like, if you was talked to, like. You're not here to interview people. You're here working. Well, what, why are we there? Because I'm helping with their printer. Okay.